So without any further ado, we're gonna go ahead and start the virtual open house for 1222 Hidden Springs Lane here in Glendora, California. It's a true mid-century home being built in the mid-50s. Uh, it's a five bedroom home, three bathrooms. It's uh, right around 2,800 square feet and it is on a huge lot. It's just a hair under uh, half of an acre. So a lot of space. A uh, very private lot with a huge private backyard, but we'll we'll see all of that in the tour. As you can see, it's a well-maintained home with great curb appeal, wonderful landscaping. Landscape was professionally designed by a landscape architect, which is easy to see here. Hi, Christina. Thanks for tuning in. All right, let's go take a look. Again, this is 1222 Hidden Springs Lane. 2,800 square feet, five bedrooms, three bathrooms. Asking price, 1,248,500. If you guys have any questions at all, please go ahead and just type them into the comments and I will be happy to address them. As you can see, we're gonna abide by all the COVID rules. And we're gonna go on and take a look. Obviously, we'll, we'll just start here at the front door. If this isn't mid-century, I don't know what is. Awesome double door with the carvings classic mid-century door handles. You'll notice that they have the, again, another classic mid-century touches the stone going around the outside. And that's also picked up on the inside as well, which we'll see shortly. Nice big porch and entryway here. Really nice, so if there is inclement weather, or you have guests, they're not uh, exposed to the elements. And let's go on in. All right. So we're immediately greeted with a very large entryway with uh, some very cool floor tile. I want to call your guys' attention to this. I hope I can pick it up on camera. Yeah, here we go. Very cool, uh, original mid-century tile to the house. Kind of a neat touch, a neat accent. You'll see with a lot of mid-century properties, this one's no exception. Um, there's a lot of uh, attention to detail and some of the finer things. There's one thing I want to point out that I noticed that's really, really cool. Uh, once we get there, I will show it to you. Um, we'll see here that there's a really large and bright and open living room. It's right at the front of the house. has a big picture window. Great views to the foothills. And there you have that large stone fireplace, which is a great accent point. Uh, very period correct and, and uh, it nicely echoes some of the other touches throughout not only the house, but also the community by utilizing the the uh, stone uh, accents. All right, you can see the view out the front window is excellent. Nice mountain view. You can see the foothills, beautiful landscaping, mature landscape, uh, a lot of mature trees on the street. It is a, you know, it is an older street, so there is a lot of great mature landscape. Kind of see there's the entryway in the living room. Good flow in this house. Uh, if you're an entertainer, you like to have people over, uh, this house would certainly fill that function quite well. And that's the dining room. We'll get there in just a moment. We're going to go back this way. And I'm going to take you into the kitchen and sort of a breakfast nook area. So this is the kitchen has, an, has a, a great view uh, out to the backyard. And this will kind of be a sneak peek, for, sneak peek for you guys. You can kind of see how expansive the backyard really is. And we'll go out there and we'll, we'll take a look all around. That's a detached three car garage. It's actually an oversized three car garage. A uh, lot of space if, you, uh, if you're someone who works on cars or has toys or likes to spend time in the garage. There's a lot of room out there and uh, it's, it's uh, unique to have the three car garage aspect. A lot of these uh, properties on the street, not only are only on a quarter of an acre, again, this is about a half an acre, um, but the other properties are on a quarter acre and they mostly have two car garages. This one's on half of an acre with an oversized three car garage. So plenty of room if you're a car enthusiast or have toys that you need to store or anything like that, there is plenty of room here. Kind of a reverse angle of the kitchen. You can see upgraded cabinets. built-in dishwasher, 
microwave oven. A very spacious breakfast nook area here. Could also be used as more of a you know, family dining area, something like that. And we're not gonna go outside yet, but I wanted to show you guys one other little detail that I thought was super cool. As I was going through the house and kind of preparing uh, the uh, uh, route for today's tour, I made a kind of a discovery that was really neat. I wanna show you guys, it's right here. So again, this is a mid-century house, so built in the mid-50s, and I just thought this little detail on the sliding glass door handle was really neat. You can kind of see some of the star cutouts that were popular in mid-century design and architecture. Again, just kind of a cool little attention to detail bit, and you'll see it elsewhere as well. So now we're gonna go through, we're gonna go into the formal dining area. Again, another big room with great views to the backyard. Nice big picture window. The wallpaper is really cool too. It's uh, definitely uh, reminiscent of uh, mid-century styling. And uh, I'm really glad that the owners kept it. I think it's a really cool touch. And they actually redid the baseboard and the trim, which you can see is a little bit more modern, but they painted it to match uh, the color palette of the wallpaper, which I thought was super cool. And wallpaper is this interesting thing where, you know, like most things uh, in fashion design, uh, there's a cycle and it seems as though wallpaper is, is making a comeback or so says my wife, who's an interior designer. And I can see why this wallpaper is really cool. It's really unique and it fits the house really well. Okay, while we're on this side of the house, we're gonna keep going down this hallway. Uh, down this hallway uh, to the right is gonna be the master bedroom down here. We'll go there in just a moment. Uh, first, we're gonna go left down the hallway. This, this room could be utilized as a den, an office, a library, or it could be a bedroom. Really cool uh, fireplace in this room as well. Again, it uh, is, is uh, surrounded by the natural stone which is a touch back to the outside of the house and also the fireplace in the living room. But this is a, this is a really neat room. Again, it could be uh, multiple things. Uh, it could be a den, an office, a library, or it could be a bedroom if you need it. And again, a total of five bedrooms in this house. So if you didn't need all five bedrooms, this could certainly be one that you turn into a home office with more and more people working from home these days. Uh, I could uh, fulfill that need quite nicely. It is at the front of the house, so uh, it does get a lot of good natural light. And the street that we're on is really quiet. Um, uh, I actually haven't heard any cars go past at all. So it would make a really good office because and even though it's at the front of the house, you're on a really quiet street. So... Uh, you really wouldn't hear too much or be distracted by any of the environmental noise. All right, we'll continue on. Another hallmark of 50, 40s and 50s homes and into the 60s, built-in storage. So you can see in the hallway here, there's a lot of built-in storage. This is just one hallway. This is just one spot. But uh, you can never have too much storage. And any family will, I think, agree with me on that. As we go in, here's the... Master bedroom, again, uh, lots of natural light. We have a nice big picture window that looks out into the really lush and private backyard. And the master has its own slider. So uh, has its own private entrance and exit into the backyard and patio area, which is really nice. And the window and the slider really account for a lot of natural light. And even on a kind of an overcast day today, there's still a lot of light in here, as you guys can all see on camera. And the master sort of vanity area here. There is dual sinks in here, you'll, which you can kind of see there. And we have a nice large walk-in closet which is kind of rare for a mid-50s house, but it's definitely a great feature. And the second sink and vanity area here. 
followed by the commode and the shower. And really good view out this room. It would be really nice to wake up and see the beautiful lush yard every day. Looks very nice. So now we are going to go to um, the, the next room we're going to see is kind of a multi-purpose room. It could really function as a lot of different things. It could be a bedroom. It could be a master bedroom. It could be a family room. Uh, and it could kind of be a game room. It could really be anything you want it to be, which is really nice. So just to kind of get your bearings, this is where we're back into the kitchen and the dining area. And the front door is just to the left through that doorway. And there's the living room. We can see the fireplace poking out there. And so now we're going to go down this hall. And again, this is a huge room. Uh, this room in and of itself is probably close to, I would just guesstimate, about 300 square feet maybe even a little bit larger. Uh, again, lots of natural light, lots of windows, a, a very large sliding glass door that uh, takes you to the patio. Really nice big view out to the backyard. You can see it's a huge sliding glass door, so a lot of natural light coming in. Great access. And again, back to my original comment, um, if you are an entertainer, uh, if you like to throw parties, have people over, uh, this house has great flow. Um, with all the sliding glass doors, all the windows, um, and the circular flow pattern, you could have all sorts of fun with uh, parties, barbecues. Um, obviously, we have July 4th. Uh, a lot of summer holidays coming up would be perfect for, for events and functions like that. People have uh, a lot of room to hang out. There's a lot of places to go. And the house, has, a, like I said, has a great flow to keep the party moving. Uh, in this room, they do have laundry in the closet here. Again, this could be utilized as the laundry at, like it is right now, or you could turn it back into a quote unquote normal closet. There's also a secondary closet there, which is kind of a, uh, a broom closet, a pantry closet, could just kind of store some miscellaneous items. But again, if you wanted to turn this into a very large master retreat, you could, because there's a lot of room and there's already a lot of closet space. And as you come in to this room, there is a nicely equipped sh uh, bathroom with shower. So again, if you did want to make it the master, you could do that. Or if you uh, maybe wanted to make it an in-law suite or guest suite, you could do that as well. It does have its own private entrance right here. This goes to the patio and outside. And it does have a, uh, like I said, a three-quarter bathroom with a very large room and another mid-century hallmark, a oh, beautifully working pocket door. So this could be a really good guest spot because it's kind, it can be kind of closed off and it uh, can be fully independent from the rest of the main house. So again, just depending on what you need for uh, your living situation, your family, your friends, uh, you personally, there's a lot you can do. And uh, anybody who's tuned into my open houses knows that one of my favorite things about properties is the versatility and utility of a property. And I like that you, um, this is a great example of that. You can use this room so many different ways and utilize it in so many different fashions. I really like that you have uh, a lot of possibility and a lot of potential. And it doesn't just have to be a bedroom or just have to be a family room or something like that. I would probably turn this into um, kind of a game slash family room. I think it would be great for that. And then just imagine op opening these sliders, having them fully open and having a nice breeze come in, uh, having a barbecue, people hanging out in here. Seems like a good time. Okay, we're going to continue on. Take a look at the uh, remaining bedrooms and bathroom. So we have three bedrooms to take a look at and one more bathroom. And look at that. Sure enough, more built-ins. Again, uh, if you guys remember, as I was talking about earlier, a hallmark of 40s, 50s, and 60s construction, mid-century design is storage, 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 and practicality. And again, we have built-in storage here for linens, towels, things like that. Again, more built-in storage here and a hallway closet. So anywhere where they could fit it, they were, they were finding storage. 
another thing I want to point out is if you guys look, uh, there's some newer flooring in on the house. This is a uh, really nice and durable uh, laminate hardwood. Uh, goes great with the look of the house, and it's also very durable. And looks excellent. Fits the house as well. This would be uh, bedroom number three or potentially four, depending on what you're considering. Again, nice big closets here. Plenty of natural light. And it's a good size room. Uh, I would say it's a, probably closer to 12 by 12 in size or 10 by 12. I know that some people like uh, spacious rooms and um, are accustomed to 10 by 10 rooms, but not this house. This house is very spacious. Most of the bedrooms are very well proportioned and very well, well sized. All right, and now we're going to take a look at the bathroom here. You'll note that there's the marble countertop, dual sinks, again, the upgraded laminate wood flooring. That's a full bathroom, tub, and shower. Very spacious bathroom. It would serve this side of the house very good. Um, there's three bedrooms here, so the dual sinks is really nice if you have a couple of kids sharing this portion of the house. Bedroom number four. Looking out to the front of the house. Again, because it looks to the north, we have great views of the hillsides and mountains. And the you can kind of get another look at the very lush landscape and mature trees the neighborhood and community have to offer as well. And bedroom number five. Again, great size, lots of closet space, and again, lots of closet space for just a quote unquote regular bedroom. This isn't a main bedroom or or a master or anything like that, but you can see it actually has double closets. It goes pretty much runs the whole length of that wall. And again, storage, storage, storage. You can never have enough. You'll notice that the new flooring runs in here as well. Nice corner window, lots of light. Another great bedroom. I'm a tall guy. The ceilings are, are a, a nice height. I'm uh, about 6'3", and I don't feel claustrophobic at all in here. Okay, now we're gonna go back to the house and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of recap the kitchen and the living room area just in case people joined us late. They can kind of see this again. Here's another view at the kitchen and dining area, dining nook. Again, great flow and uh, views out to the backyard. And again, uh, that's a very, very classical mid-century concept, bringing the outdoors inside uh, having great access to the outdoor area, lots of natural light, uh, lots of glass, and certainly uh, this home displays those traditional characteristics quite well. Get another shot of the entryway. Again, another coat closet because you can never have enough. And a very big and spacious living room. This is a very well proportioned room. If you guys want to check out um, sizing or dimensions, uh, we do have a floor plan. Uh, it's part of the uh, MLS listing, um, which will be uh, s uh, launching very shortly. Um, so if you have any questions about uh, the size of a room, dimensions, floor plans, layout, we can provide that information. We'll all, we also did uh, a 3D Matterport tour, which is standard for uh, pretty much every single Wheeler Stephan Sotheby's International Realty property that we have. Again, with COVID-19 still being in effect, we want to bring properties to uh, consumers every way that we can. And the Matterport is a great tool for that because it basically allows people to walk through the house like they're there. Another great feature of the Matterport is that you're able to measure spaces. So if you have a question about would your furniture fit, how big is the dining room, how big is uh, the refrigerator nook? You can actually take the measure tool on Matterport and measure the space, which is really a really cool feature and function. 
So that'll be available as well. If anybody wants to take a look at any of those materials, um, please comment or message me and I'll be happy to pass along the uh, floor plan layout as well as a link to the Matterport. Okay, so the one last spot that we need to go is to the great outdoors. So we're gonna take a trip through this sliding glass door and we're gonna look at the backyard. The backyard has a big focal point. There's a really nice uh, Luma wood patio cover, which you'll, you guys will see right here. This is really nice because it, it provides, but it still uh, keeps a very open feel for the patio. Uh, it doesn't make it feel closed in or closed off like a, perhaps a solid, pa a solid patio cover would. And again, it is a, an Aluma wood product, so you don't need to worry about uh, wood rot, termites, uh, anything like that. It's going to be very durable. You're not going to have to worry about constantly painting it or staining it to preserve it against the elements. It'll always be looking good and uh, ready to perform for your next barbecue. And I just want to stand back here a little bit and give you guys a whole view of kind of like the covered patio area. You can see it's very, very uh, expansive. A lot of room out here. You could definitely get a lot of people for a barbecue, cookout, any type of family gathering, graduation party. Uh, you could easily uh, have some large events here. Um, this is definitely a type of backyard where you could have a wedding or something like that. So any type of family function, um, any type of party uh, would be well suited at this property. Guys, turn you around, you guys can really get a good feel for the expansiveness, but also the privateness of the backyard. You'll see that it's uh, pretty much block wall construction all the way around. There's one little portion that's chain link with, uh, actually it's right there, that is chain link, but it's got some uh, hedges and bougainvilleas growing on it, so it's very private, you really can't see through it. And then back to block wall there. So a nice solid perimeter. And as you guys can see, really no one can see in here. We have a lot of mature landscape and vegetation. So we don't really need to worry about uh, any uh, prying eyes or anything like that. This is a huge yard. Um, I'm a golfer. Uh, if you know me, I like to play golf as much as I can. It's been a, been a while since I've played because of COVID, but uh, you could probably hit chip shots back here <laughs> with relative ease. Um, I would say that it's probably about uh, 40 yards or so from me to that back wall, maybe even more. So uh, if you're into golfing, soccer, football, anything like this, I mean, you could really have a lot of fun in this yard. Um, I know that the owners were telling me that there's actually still pole holders for badminton and volleyball. Um, and it appears as though you could probably get a probably close to regulation volleyball uh, court out here. So plenty of room. If you guys have any questions at any time, please feel free to put them into the comments. I'd be happy to answer any questions you guys have. Again, if you're just joining us, this is 1222 Hidden Springs Lane in Glendora, California. And we're doing a virtual open house at this beautiful mid-century property. I'm gonna take you guys back onto the inside. If you guys have any areas that you'd like me to highlight or showcase again, I would be happy to do that for you. There are uh, several uh, fruiting trees on the property. Um, there's avocado trees um, and there's some other citrus trees as well which is a nice added bonus. And the avocado tree is very large and produces a lot of avocados. So you'll have plenty of uh, guacamole for uh, your barbecues and cookouts uh, without any, any problem in that. So we've covered pretty much the entire property here at uh, 1222 uh, Hidden Springs Lane here in Glendora. I'm gonna hang out for just a little while longer. If anybody has any questions regarding the property, I'd be happy to answer those. Again, you can just pop those right into the comments and uh, I will answer them for you. Uh, if anybody is interested in viewing the property in person, uh, please go ahead and reach out to me, contact me. I'd be more than happy to set up a, uh, a private viewing uh, as soon as we're able to. Um, and uh, we can get you guys in and you can take a look. Uh, I have been noticing that the market has been picking up quite a bit. 
Obviously, as things reopen, people are kind of emerging out of their cocoon that was uh, quarantine and stay-at-home orders. Obviously, uh, the virus is still out there, so we have to be we still have to be mindful and uh, do what we need to do in order to keep everyone safe. So we still have all of our COVID precautions in place. However, we are seeing a, a pretty large uptick in activity, both in terms of listings uh, and in potential buyers. I've actually been contacted multiple times this week by people that sort of put things on hold and now they're getting ready to do things again. Uh, people are kind of realizing that uh, life has to continue on and while we need to remain safe and uh, and do, do what we need to do to keep everyone safe from COVID, uh, we still have to conduct business and people still need places to live. So with that said, we're still fully operational and we'd be happy to show this property if you have sincere interest. Interest rates are excellent right now. So if you're thinking about buying, I actually just had a buyer, I can't believe this, I just had a buyer sit down with uh, a lender uh, that's local here in the Claremont Village and uh, we're working with them on securing a property in North Claremont and uh, they they were originally pre-approved through a large bank um, because you know that's what they were comfortable with doing and they realized that the service wasn't quite good and uh, they were getting the runaround they talked to a local lender and they were able to get a rate at 2.99 percent so that's a, an amazing rate for a mortgage so if there's anybody on the fence about that now is still a great time to get pre-approved and at least talk to a lender about maybe what you can afford. Um, it's an excellent time to stop paying rent and start building your equity. Uh, so if you have that down payment or close to that down payment, it's definitely a good time to at least explore that option. Um, because it's uh, with interest rates so low, uh, buyer's buying power is much higher and you'll be able to get much more house for the money. Again, guys, this is 1222 Hidden Springs Lane here in Glendora, California. If you guys have any questions, please just let me know. You can type them into the comments. I'd be happy to answer them for you. I want to say thank you to you guys for joining. I uh, had a great turnout uh, to this virtual open house. I will upload the video um, shortly after. I will also post the link to the Matterport in the event page. So if you want to check that out, you can do that as well. Um, and uh, the property will be available for showing starting tomorrow. So if you're interested in taking a look, I would be happy to make arrangements for you. So with that said, again, thanks guys so much for joining me. I appreciate your time. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Sunday and uh, stay tuned for the next virtual open house. Alrighty guys, bye.